first I'm going to apologize for the, um, the loud buzzing on here. I have to use an older laptop and the sound card creates a buzz and the, this program will capture it. Anyway, this video is going to demonstrate the weather radar in the NG737 by PMDG and kind of explain the difference between a, other add-on aircraft that do not use Active Sky Next and this specific uh, aircraft in like the 777 that do. Uh, the big misconception is, is that I've got clouds in the sky, why isn't the weather radar picking it up? The reason is, is that a real radar in these aircraft it doesn't pick up cloud. The radar waves that come out of the nose cone of the aircraft will pass through a cloud and they do not get reflected back. You need an actual physical droplet of water such as rain or snow. So a cloud isn't going to show up. The um, other add-ons that claim to have a working weather radar in FSX, such as the Airbus and some of the older ones before Agnes Sky Next came out, what those do is they use the logic of if a cloud is large, it's probably going to have heavy rain associated with it if it's raining. If it's a small cloud, it's probably going to have light rain. So it looks at the cloud draw, and if it's drawing like a bunch of a lot of clouds or thick clouds, then it's going to assume that that area has heavy rain. In reality, it could just be a cloud and there's no rain involved in it. So what will happen is, is you'll get large areas of rain that show up. And in reality, there's no rain there, it's just a cloud. And to kind of prove this and how it works in real life is on a cloudy day, if you go look at the weather radar for your area, there's unless it's raining outside, there probably isn't any rain on your radar. So that's kind of like the big misconception in it is that, oh, okay, because we get it all the time on the forums about, hey, I see clouds in the sky, but nothing is showing up on my radar. Well, that's good. That means it's not raining. So I'm loaded over at um, Tampa Bay today, which is April 12th, I believe, or 13th, and there's thunderstorms in the area, and this is live uh, weather. And you'll notice down on our nav display that there is nothing visible down here. There's a couple things that we have to do first. One is the weather test, so we need to go to our weather panel, which is down over here. Sorry about the choppiness, the, my computer has been going slow. So what we're going to need to do is you're going to need to hit the test button, and then on the display up here, you need to turn on the weather. Okay. Turn on the weather, hit Monitor test. radar display. There, it's testing Go over. Around. Wind shear ahead. That's the test Wind display. Wind shear ahead. Wind shear ahead. And it also says that there's weather test. Alright, the test is over with, and now the weather radar is turned on, plus it's going to show here as a turbulence. You give it a second, it will draw. Now what this purple color is in here, this is turbulent air. The weather radar is noticing that it's getting scattered returns, which means that the rain, they think, is going in all different directions. It means there's probably a wind shear or turbulence that's blowing the wind around and it's going to blow the aircraft around. That's what this WX plus T is. If you turn on just the weather, during the next radar pass, you'll notice that that turbulent area has disappeared and it's just red. All right, now there's some other things that we need to do with this. We're not ready to fly into this weather and think that it's safe. You have to know how to operate this radar. You don't just turn it on and boom, you're good to go. There's different things that you need to know about, such as gain. If you turn the gain all the way down, and then look, our display is a little bit different. There's a lot less on the screen. Basically what weather gain is, is that it's kind of like the squelch on a, on a radio. If you turn the squelch down real low, you're going to hear like a hissing sound and you have to turn it and you have to tune it until it's just right. So what you have to do with the gain is you got to kind of adjust this. And just keep turning, it's kind of hard in here, but keep turning the dial until you really don't get much of a change. So that looks a lot better than all the way up here, like that. 
this could just be a little bit of mist in the air and you're picking up on it. You got the gain turned up on it, so you're gonna think it's real heavy. Now, in real, you know, actually, I do not know how to actually tune these things. I don't know how to operate a real weather radar, and the directions that came with this really don't explain the use of the weather radar and how to use it. I do not know what TFR, MAP, or GC mean. And you'll notice there's two. This is for the um, left, and this is for the right side. So this would be the captain or the co-pilot side. This right here is the captain side. Now there's also a thing on the weather radar called tilt. You have it right here, zero, and then you got up and down. If you were flying at level flight, you'd want to see what's ahead of you. So you're going to leave it at zero. You want the weather radar to shoot straight out in front. So now you can see the weather in front. If you are climbing, you're going to want to tilt that uh, radar upward a little bit. So now you can see up and ahead of you where you're going to go. And the same is reverse for down. And if you look right here, it'll tell you what the um, variation is. Right now it's in auto, so it's at four up. Because we're on the ground, it's going to assume we're going to climb. If we start descending, it'll s slow down. Now, the other thing you got to keep in mind is that when this weather radar is up, you cannot use your train display. You can either have to train, you'll see the blue train. If you click it again, there's going to be nothing displayed weather radar and it is going to take a second for it to draw so just give it some time don't click oh my god it's working and there you have your weather radar pass and if you don't want it anymore you click it but you're going to look but you in order to see it on here this has to be turned on and also again make sure that your gain is kind of adjusted to see Alright, so that's just kind of a, a brief example of uh, how this works. And I'm going to uh, load up a default aircraft and kind of show you what it looks... This weather's going to look like in a default aircraft. Or not really default, but when it doesn't use the Agnes Sky weather radar. So I'll see you back in a different aircraft. We are now in the... Uh, Three, six, left. As you can see, the Airbus A380... I think it's the A320 from Aerosoft Extended. And I have the weather radar turned on, and I've got the gain turned up. Now you can see here, this doesn't very really look like that other radar. The other one had spotches in it, showed where there were storm cells at, and that there were clear areas. This is just kind of showing a shaded area. And if I change the thing, it just it looks even more false. On runway three six you can see there. left. On runway three six left. And if three, I turn six, this down. Left. It's even different. In fact, when I first loaded this, I was confused because I thought that the aircraft was doing a weather test, and it really wasn't. So you can see that the the NGX one is showing where there's actually this stuff in the simulator falling. If you are flying through an area of red, if you look out the window, you're going to see heavy rain. In here, on a clear day, on runway three, this might six, um, left. on runway. You know, this three, weather right in here six, might even left. be completely clear outside and it's still going to show rain in the area and it doesn't really depict it in a very um, you know a very realistic manner you won't really see it like this and it, it's trying I mean this does better this aircraft actually does a better job at it than some of the other aircraft out there you know, another thing that's important to note with all these aircraft when you turn on this weather feature is that you are on going runway, to drop your three, frame rate six, left. On runway. Again, you know, because it's six, using resources left. to try and draw this. It's trying to use resources to calculate where the rain is going to be. So you you are going to have a, a slight impact on frame rates for it. So if you're out cruising along at 38,000 feet, you probably don't need your weather radar on. You could turn it off. If you're coming into an area where you think it might be storming, it's dark out, or you know the weather's going to be bad, you might want to turn your weather radar on then to try and navigate through on it. runway three six left so anyway, there, there's three, pretty just six, uh, a down and dirty description of how to use the weather radar again i've never used one of these in an airplane i don't really know how to use it correctly to be honest with you but this will just kind of hopefully get some of you guys up in the air and able to turn the display on without having to ask the, you know getting yelled at for asking the same question everyone else does uh, happy flying